Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Derek from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to customize the Cinnamon desktop environment. So Cinnamon is a little bit different than a lot of other desktops because it's only available on a few select Linux distributions. Some desktops out there, uh, some Linux distributions I should say, may not have this desktop, but a lot of them carry it. So if you want to customize it, here's how it works. So unlike a lot of other desktop environments, uh, Cinnamon actually has a lot to offer. So before we touch the panel or anything, we should talk about desk lids. So what you do is you right click on the desktop and then click add desk lids. <clears throat> excuse me. From here, there are three little, excuse me. From here, there are three desk lids that you can choose from. And uh, you can also look at the ones available online by clicking the available online button and it will go out and refresh. And you can download those from there. But uh, let's just deal with the downloaded ones. So to add a digital frame, you could click Add to Desktop, and then this will show up here, and you can configure that to show up with all your pictures. You can also add a clocked desk lit. Uh, there's a lot of different things to do with it. And if you want to get rid of a desk lit, just right click on it and then click Remove. So to customize the panel itself, you would click Panel Edit Mode. Now Edit Mode lets you instantly move stuff around. So if I want to get rid of the Show Desktop button, I can just click Remove. I can remove this if I don't want it. And I can remove this. And I can even move the panel around by right-clicking on it. I can do a lot just in Panel Edit Mode. When I'm done with Panel Edit Mode, I can click Off. And it will turn right back off doesn't always turn right off. So aside from panel edit mode, you can add additional applets by just right clicking on it and then clicking add applet to the panel. Now this will open up an applet setting and like always there are stuff available online, uh, but we're gonna deal with the ones that are already installed for the sake of uh, time here. But say you wanna add scale to the panel, right? Just click add to panel and it will instantly appear. And then scale is right here and that lets us do things. We can add uh, the on-screen keyboard if we're using a touchscreen, and that will appear. And the on-screen keyboard is right here we can use. We can disable it or enable it at any time. There are a bunch of different applets you can add to the Cinnamon desktop. So to customize the overall look of everything, you would need to still right-click on the panel and then, except this time, click Themes. <coughs> In themes, we see there are window borders, icons, controls, mouse pointer, and desktop. So like GNOME Shell, Cinnamon splits up the theme from the desktop theme and the window borders and controls themes. So it's all split up. So to change the way these look up here, you would click under window borders, and then you would select a theme. And let's say Numix is our theme that we're going to use. And then we need to go down to controls, and we need to pick a theme that matches it. And because we're using Numix, we should select this one here to fit the controls, and now our theme is using the Numix theme. If we want to change the icon, we can find an icon theme from the installed and available ones and switch to that too. Maybe we want to use the, hmm, I wonder, let's use Menta. We can use the Menta theme. <clears throat> and if we scroll down, we can change the desktop theme. Now, this only shows the installed themes, but you can get more if you click Add, uh, click get more on the control page here. But let's just use black mate and see how that one looks. So as soon as we change it, it will instantly change the theme on the desktop. And that's all you need to do. If you want to change it to show icons and menus, you can click the on button here and you can also show icons on buttons as well by clicking that button there. And those are the customization settings for the appearance. Last thing we need to talk about before I get out of here is the panel settings itself. So we went to panel edit mode and that lets us change a lot of the panel settings, like where the applets are or where the panel is itself. But if you click panel settings here, you get even more settings for the panel. So by default, there are no settings that are enabled that allow the panel to be hidden. But if you want to turn it on so that it does that, you can click this option here and change it to IntelliHide or AutoHide or whatever. You can also change it so you can use a custom panel size instead of the one that comes with the theme. This will allow it to make it better if you are someone who can't see that well. You can also add a new panel at any time by clicking the Add New Panel button. 
And uh, don't forget, you can delete a panel by clicking the delete button in panel edit mode. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all that there is to talk about for customizing the Cinnamon desktop. My name is Derek, and I will see you in the next video.